rubbing so hard it's smoking. So we're back today. It's kind of ironic the day it snows we're also lowering the vehicle. But isn't that how it usually goes? Yeah, I always lower my vehicles in the winter. The first thing we're gonna do is lower the rear end. Yeah, we're gonna just flip the axle. That thing's super heavy. What the hell is this thing? Is this all bump stop? I think you're supposed to sit on that. I think it's gonna have a little bit of a rake squatted look no matter what unless we really roll those front fenders out and we can set it down farther but we're not going to take the motor or the axles or anything off we're just going to take this the whole assembly and move it up this has definitely been messed with before you see fluid it's hard to twist it out when it's 90 right at the fitting step one complete oh that comes off great yeah I mean, I don't know how much good it does right now. <laughs> Is that all the way down? Jeez, that's a lot of travel though. Maybe it will be okay. I think it'll be all right. Look, at that's more than four inches right there. We could have some Bluetooth shots. After watching all the SEMA videos, I don't feel ashamed doing it. We have to make our own brackets to now sit on top of the axle because we can't cut these off easily. We're not literally flipping the axle, we're just taking it out and then putting it on top. So yeah, we're, we're just, we're keeping it and just jacking it up. Yeah. So we're gonna make our own out of the square tubing. We're gonna cut that section off and then cut it in half the long way. And we should have similar shaped pieces to those that will sit and we'll weld them to the X. Yes, safety third. <clears throat> Is it all at the same time or did one fall and then the other? I don't know, I, didn't, I guess I would have to look back and it was How was this go like this? <laughs> <laughs> Catch it when it drops? Or no, wait, I got it. Whoa! Getting a little frisky. Oh, that's way easier, dude. Usually I don't have that, my luck isn't that good with shackles and stuff. Thing you got steel toes on. I have lightly woven fabric toes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jesus! Go, right? Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Watch that strap not enjoy its life anymore. No way. <laughs> just perfect. Well, I mean, it's pretty balanced. It really it's is. It's literally just dangling so, by the rats. Sure. I mean, I'm sure they made it like that. Yeah, yeah. They were worried about 50-50 weight distribution. Jeez, that strap's tight. How's it look? That'll do. That will do. And then if we do want it to go down, a little bit farther, we just spread these legs out. Look at how nice they sit. So that's the new place. They're gonna be sitting. Oh, hole. That's right. Need a hole. Oh, that's perfect width, too. Actually, you know what? No hole. Let's rock no hole, because it, it doesn't even touch it right We're now. Right. Like, you would have to be It's actually supporting compressed. it. Now for the fun the, part the sticky, sticky, weldy, weldy. Objects are harder than they appear. Yeah, how does this work on an electric system? What? Welding. Um. <laughs> okay. You got the battery off, right? Yeah. So you want to make sure you take all the precautions. <laughs> Which I don't know what they are for a uh, electric vehicle. Hopefully this doesn't... We've probably done like 60-70% of them. We're that much farther. Brackets have been tacked into place. Now we gotta weld them on. Yep, we're gonna weld them fully now. Shit. 
YouTube's gonna see this. Yeah, make it look good. <laughs> okay. Alright. We gotta weld it. Gotta wait okay. for that sucker to cool down and then we can snake the axle up into the leaves. We undid the front of the leaves, so we should be able to just kinda like wrap it. You wanna do that around. now? Yeah, why not? You just don't want to just don't touch don't, that. Just stuff. don't touch the hot stuff. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright. Wow. Some serious undulation. So this is the kind of undulation we're gonna have. Yep. I'm sure I really don't trust this strap that much right there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna fall on the dust shields and really crumple them, but I mean, it'd be nice if it didn't do that. Yeah, ultimately, we don't want that because it'll hang by the e-brake. Oh, that's true. It won't even make it to the ground. It'll pull the truck off the way. <laughs> and we should have the safety on Little extra safety. It looks like your head is the gearbox right here. Shalom, I'm electric motor. Did you join a cult or something? I didn't yeah, know. I did. Let's spray these things. Shush! I say what I want. I'm spraying the rust with window cleaner. That's new. Alcohol, so it cleans it up good for paint. Are you painting the whole leaf? I'm just where it's gonna sit. Are we impatient? Yes. Water on it. Is there still water on it when we're trying to paint it? Yes. Is it not sticking in those spots? No. Do we care? No. No. Do we want to see how it looks lower right now? Yes. Immediately, yeah. Just lift it up. Is it perfect? Dude. Nice. Minty. And when it sits too, that's gonna take up, you know what I mean? The weight's gonna push that we up. We kinda have to have this on for spacing. We ran into an issue where the leaves. Since we took the overload springs out, or, or overload leaves out, we need to make up the space and this coupler thing from, what does it say on it? Volkswagen? Made in Germany. GM, this one. Oh, that's a unique smell. Okay, so now we gotta get the side to side, right? We need to go this way. Oh, that's like lined up right there. This thing is gonna be so much cooler now. I think we're gonna rub. We're definitely gonna have to roll these vendors. So now, supporting connect, mods. Connect the brake lines. <laughs> this is the last step, basically. And then we get to see if it bottoms out. Ooh. Definitely oh. resting on the tires. Yeah, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Barely though. Oh, barely, bro. The tires are what's holding the truck up. So we're rolling the fenders now. We're gonna do it the cheapest way possible and not buy a fender roll. <laughs> we got a pipe. That'll do the trick. And then we got a pipe bigger than this, and then a pipe bigger than this. And then we're a gonna pipe. have a full blown pandem kit by the time we're done. We're wide body and everything. She's a little paint flaky, but uh, way less sharp, too. Just backed it out. Let's see what it looks like from distance. Take a look at this thing. Oh my. <laughs> she squatted. Uh, it's rubbing a little bit, I think, on this side. One of the sides, I don't know. You can hear it, yeah. Let's see if the heat works. Yeah, let's crank the heat. That's pretty well. 
So what, are we going to take it in the snow and see if it does a little skirt, 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 skirt? Oh yeah, I definitely should. We're rubbing. Back end is like coming off the ground. How bad are we rubbing here? Definitely, you can see where it's rubbing right here, but ain't doing nothing with the tires. It's flat. Like okay. It's the other side, I'm pretty and sure. It's not this side. Well, I mean, I'm sure this one's touching. Dude, we got a lowered electric mini truck and it bounces like a motherfucker. <laughs> On a smooth oh. road, you can't tell. My God. Are you burning? Yeah, you're rubbing so hard it's smoking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can oh, you yeah. see that? Yeah, no. I see that. I can see chunks of rubber coming up. No. Can you? Yeah, it's like, it's like it. Just bounces around. Before we lowered it, it was twenty five and five eighths in the rear. So, <laughs> what did I say? Twenty five and five eighths. Oh, a solid, a little bit over. Four and an eighth. Four and an eighth? Four inches and an eighth. <laughs> well, we just dropped it and we're back. Just over four. Dang. Look at the grass stuck to the mud flaps. Did you get that? Yeah. Look at what you did. It's like just nasty. You just destroyed your lawn right there. Great. <laughs> that was the nice part of the lawn. How'd you get it stuck right there? <laughs> <laughs> There's a problem. <laughs> Did you actually beach it? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna push. Okay, go, go back. Oh. It did a burnout. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, you dug a hole. A little too low but we're gonna make some minor adjustments next time uh, in the next video along with some other things yeah right yeah we got to work on getting the front lowered now we're gonna yeah make the minor adjustments, adjustments to the back to we're gonna raise it up just a titch probably like a half an inch and be perfect back there hopefully there's some more snow on the ground too we can try some drifting Stay tuned for uh, more mini truck stuff. We're gonna do, we got a bunch of goodies that we bought for it. So we'll see you next time with some goodies.